Recently, Chief Investment Officer of Go Invest, Dr. Peter Ramsrup, said that local agroprocessors are being pushed to confirm to international manufacturing standards. We're working, trying to now help these invest these exporters want the right labeling, the right right size of that bottle. What what is the market? Proprietors of the Ghana Marketing International (GMI), Mawaso, and German Port. During an exclusive interview with Nike News, recounted how the journey for the thriving venture proved to be a challenging one. In terms of labeling and, and packaging, that's a challenge for us, for this business. Our packaging materials, we are not getting them in the country. I mean, we are trying to move away from plastic bags and we are using pouches and sometimes it's hard to get the pouches. We were getting these pouches from GMC. Um, the packaging facility as a fire, but they don't have. So now we are sourcing from full words. Known for their scrumptious coconut biscuit and salivating pepper sauces, Mawazo noted that they were privileged to participate in this year's Argo Fest in Barbados. The couple received positive feedback on their products from regional and international stakeholders. Meanwhile, their products are sold at local shopping complexes such as Massey, Bounty and the Ghana Marketing Corporation's Ghana Shop. Against this background, the next step of standardization is the Made in Ghana stamp. We are just a step away from being certified. We already received the letter, the approval letter that we were successful. We passed all the criteria, so we are just waiting now to be certified. The unstable price tag for raw materials like sugar has been a major challenge for the entrepreneurs. Despite these challenges, Mr. and Mistress Port have set sights on bigger aspirations. We want it to be out there. We want it to go international. But all our products taste very lovely. So I do encourage you all to, you know, support this thriving business. Antonio Day reporting for the AGP Nightly News.